Hey guys, today I want to talk about Halo Infinite Season 2 drop pod updates. And I've got to say, these drop pod updates have me quite hopeful for Season 2. Essentially, they are quality of life updates that will address bug fixes, as well as implement new features and content to the game. The great thing about these drop pod updates is that they are monthly, and Joseph Staten actually confirmed for us that whenever anything is ready, 343 will release it into the game inside one of these drop pod updates, which I think is great. So I do want to show one very brief clip from Joseph Staten talking about the drop pod updates, and then I'll for that, I'll basically go into what I think will come in with these drop pod updates, especially the first few coming towards the start of season two. And that's how we approach the delivery. We want to approach the delivery of this content. Um, we don't want to just wait and hold things back for season releases. If something's ready, we want to be able to put it in a pod and drop it. We want drop pods leaving the frigate or whatever it is, uh, 343 on a regular basis. Our goal is to get into a monthly cadence of a drop pod a month. We're not there yet. But that's the goal. That's part of why we're taking time in season two to go after this work. But just think about a drop pod as a delivery vehicle, content, features, bug fixes, lots of different things could go into a drop pod. We want to be able to do them every month. If something's ready, it goes that month. Um, we don't want to hold and wait until season boundaries. So again, this is the kind of stuff that doesn't show up in granular detail on the roadmap. But when you see the drop pod icon, when we say drop pods, just know that it's our way, ideally on a monthly basis, and we'll get up to speed to deliver content when it's ready. So making these updates release monthly is a great idea because it's going to keep us engaged knowing what's coming to the game. But not only that, it's going to make Halo Infinite feel a lot more like an actual live service game. I think we can all agree, Halo Infinite has rarely felt like an actual live service game. Actually, no, it hasn't felt like a live service game at all. But in Season 2, with these monthly updates that will feature content, bug fixes, and other features, that's really going to make this feel like an actual live service game. And the main thing I want to focus on is the content, because 343 did say as soon as anything is ready they'll get it out the door to us. This is one of the reasons I think Infection will be coming before Season 3 and most likely when Forge releases in September. Not only that, in the Halo Infinite API we can see the Halo Infinite medals for Infection so the medals are in the game files and there's an actual AI coming in Season 2 that has some Infection voice lines and very briefly I want to show you one of those voice lines. Survivors, <laughs> not for long. It's us against the bloodthirsty horde. So in my opinion, I think we are going to see infection with one of these drop pod updates. And of course, 343 can market it to us like this massive thing, and it can easily drop alongside Forge, and that would bring so much hype to the game. I actually 100% can see them doing that. Besides bug fixes, we should also see further changes to weapon balancing, vehicle balancing, as well as many other quality of life changes. And an actual career progression system falls under quality of life updates. So towards the end of season two in a drop pod update, we could see a career progression system. However, for anyone hoping for new weapons or anything like that, I have to say that there won't be any new weapons until Season 3. But in the roadmap, we can see new sandbox additions, and I'm 99.9% .9 sure that's going to be new weapons. So after hearing what Joseph Staten had to say about these drop pod updates, I have to say guys, I'm pretty excited for Season 2. Halo Infinite will feel a lot closer to an actual live service game. There is still so much work 3 for 3 still need to do before it can get even close to feeling like an actual live service game, but Season 2 will feel a lot better than Season 1 just because of these monthly drop pod updates. So I am thankful for that, and hopefully these updates go down very well in the community. With that said, guys, if you've been enjoying the videos lately on the channel, feel free to subscribe. I'd really appreciate you for it. Thanks, guys, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Have a good one.